Organically grown company is standing proud, making history with the ribbon cutting ceremony at their brand new facility in Gresham, Oregon. This business is serving growers, workers, retailers, and consumers in a modern and sustainable way. They are also pioneering a path for the organic movement, the environment, and worker-farmer business relations. This is what's sustainable today. Josh Heinerfeld, CEO of Organically Grown Company, more commonly known as OGC, likens the operation to a quote from the produce buyer at New Seasons. Think of it, in the words of Jeff Fairchild over here, as an intensive care facility specially designed for fruits and vegetables. We have the ability to manipulate different aspects of the environment, temperature, humidity, and ethylene levels, to keep our fresh organic fruits and vegetables alive as long as possible. In addition, we have a facility that provides us with the capacity to triple the size of our business. OGC started in 1983 as a farmer's distribution cooperative with humble beginnings at a location tucked away in the Whitaker neighborhood of Eugene. Then, as now, they were doing business serving the needs of natural and fine foods retailers, restaurants, juicing companies, and other wholesalers. Having grown to a staff of more than 160 workers spread out between this and two other facilities here in the Northwest, OGC is now serving 37 farms and numerous retailers ranging from Delta, British Columbia to Talent, Oregon. This is not your typical workplace. This company has been a team effort from the beginning. It is entirely employee and grower owned. Our business is a legal bond between growers and employees who have committed themselves to a long-term relationship and mutual benefit through the shared ownership and enterprise that begins in the field and ends in the kitchen. Oh, it is. Following the ribbon cutting, friends, family, and co-workers were treated to a tour of this intensive care facility for fruits and vegetables. Maximum efficiency was part of the design from the beginning and has resulted in a facility that is just a few points shy of a lead gold standard. The company expects to receive up to $80,000 in energy credits from Energy Trust of Oregon. Some features include rapid roll-up doors, LED lighting for low power consumption, anhydrous ammonia-based coolant system, and natural lighting using solar tubes. All of this is impressive given that it's a 119,000 square foot facility. For example, there are enough ripening rooms to handle up to eight semi-loads of bananas. And on the back side of this space, we already have the infrastructure installed in terms of the, of the drain network to install another five rooms over time. We would just push that wall out and go that direction and extend this space. So uh, Don, if you want to walk in and kind of introduce people here to uh, this function, it'd be great. Basically, we um, ripen the fruit. It comes in green and hard and all latex and uh, we turn it into a nice, sweet, sugary treat for the kids. These rooms are state-of-the-art. We're really excited about them. Um, the opportunity to do items like mangoes and, and tomatoes and, and just basically forcing air through the boxes and maintaining temperatures. As if the sheer size of the warehouse and ripening rooms weren't enough, the tour winds up in the employee lounge. It has an internet cafe, complete locker rooms, showers, and an employee grocery store. It's obvious from the participants at today's event, all of OGC's stakeholders are looking forward to a bright future in organics. What is to come as Organically Grown Company continues to participate not only in the organic trade, but the organic movement, promoting the values of health, partnership, integrity, and sustainability. I'm Paul Norberg, bringing you the tools to be sustainable today. <laughs>